Hey everybody, welcome to Booster Jeans Riders. I'm Kate. And I'm Rich. And today we are riding Highway 160, which beautiful. takes us along the beautiful Sacramento River, Delta. I don't know exactly which river this is. San Joaquin, Sacramento, one of them, we don't know. Okay, well we'll put it down in the description or it'll pop up on the screen somewhere once we find out for sure which river it is. Got a lot of bikers out today too. Yeah, I saw it. So anyway, sure. we about to do this fun video. But before we get into the video, if you're watching it, please make sure you put the comments in because you've seen the title, and we got a question that we want everybody to answer. Now, it doesn't mean that we're moving or you're moving. Oh no. But go ahead and answer the, the thing if you're watching this video. Don't just let it pass by. We definitely appreciate all the comments, and we will respond to all the comments. So what got us into this video was I was in the kitchen watching some of our old videos, our travel videos. And you know, Cake and I had traveled all across the country, and we absolutely love it. On the motorcycles. Exactly. <laughs> And I was looking at some of the beautiful places that we've been to. And you know, for our videos, we hope to inspire you to go to those places also. I look at some of the beautiful places that we've been to, and I say, man, I would love to move to that place. But if it wasn't for so-and-so, <laughs> I would move to it in a heartbeat. <laughs> so I go up in a bedroom and talk to Karen, and I say, hey, answer this question for me. If it wasn't for blank, you move to what state in a heartbeat? So that's the question we posing to you guys to answer. If it wasn't for blank, you will move to what state in a heartbeat? Look at that beautiful stuff there. Oh man, this is what we ride next nice to. Nice and California calm. Belt. Oh yeah, they probably have some jet skis out today also, and a lot of boaters ride this also. So anyway, oh yeah. I so I say, if it wasn't for blank, what baby? Where would you move in a heartbeat? Go ahead and tell them what that, the answer was. And I said, if it wasn't for the snow, I right. would move. He said, wait, wait, wait. Right. And, and the reason I interrupted it like I'm doing now is <laughs> <laughs> because my answer, the first part of my answer was it wasn't for snow also. So I interrupted it. And go ahead and tell him what I done when I interrupted you. And he went and wrote something down on a piece of paper. And he came back with it and had it folded. He said, go ahead, answer the question. Where right. would you move? I said, if it wasn't for the snow, right. I will move to Colorado in a heartbeat. <laughs> he said, I where? I said, I would move to Colorado in a heartbeat if it wasn't for the snow. So he, got, he gave me the paper, and I opened it up, and on the paper was snow and Colorado. No, and I'm like, not. really? <laughs> See, yes. This show we on the we, same wavelength. On the same page, on the same wave. Yeah, our thoughts were the same that day. Yeah, you know, we live for and each other, we think like each other, and that was beautiful. The parts of Colorado that we visit and rode through, was it beautiful. was beautiful. And it just made me want to move there, but that snow made yeah, me not. We are not snow you know. people. So we're now, visit. Now, don't get me wrong. This thing doesn't have to be motorcycle related. Oh, so no. So if you're watching this and you're not riding a motorcycle, still, we would like for you to answer below. Now, I say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's take Colorado out of it. Let's do this again. And go ahead, Kate. Tell them what happened. And we st I stuck with the weather. I said, if it wasn't for the heat, I would move to Florida in a heartbeat. <laughs> And I go, no. And she said, no, you didn't say heat in Florida also. I said, yes, I did. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah. We love everything about Florida. And if all you know, we... Originally from New Orleans. Yeah, born so and we, raised we, there. We know about the humidity and everything. Uh -huh. And But our bodies has acclimated to California weather. And for us, that heat is unbearable. But we love everything about Florida also, just like... Colorado. I mean, we love the beaches. We love the the weather when it's good weather. 
the weather when it's good weather when it's not too hot, obviously. Yes. So don't get me wrong, it's not like we would not move to Florida. But if they can get rid of that heat down south, oh, we probably gone. Now, but then, you know, when we were in Florida, riding in that heat along right. all the beautiful beaches, when we yeah. got hot, and what did we do? <laughs> we jumped off the bikes and jumped into the water with our clothes on. With clothes on. Of course, we remove our cell phones off of us. Right, and, right. And we went swimming in the ocean in Florida. So what we're saying is, just because it's weather related for us, it may not be weather related for you. So yeah. when you're asking the question, just put it in there. Where would you move in a heartbeat if it wasn't for a blank? So it goes like, if it wasn't for a blank, I would move to this state in a heartbeat. Right. And we'd be curious to know. Now, obviously, you don't have to move or you wasn't intended on Like for us, we don't plan on moving no time soon, regardless of whether it was Colorado or Florida. We love man, what we wait, stand. Wait, we wait, love wait, California. Wait, wait. Give them a little bit of the farmland that's on the other side. We got oh, water okay, on okay, one okay. side of us, and we got farmland on the other side. Right, so they right, don't right, have right. no problem watering their their vegetations out here. Yeah, that look like the vineyard right there, and yeah, we're still riding a... the California Delta. Yes, Over it goes here. a long way. We this will take us out to Sacramento. Yes, this is beautiful scenic highway, and as you can see, there are no twisties. I don't know the, motor, the camera picked up the motorcycle that passing, but a lot of bikes are out today, and this is a, a nice, nice staple road to ride. If you like water, you like rivers, I, I believe it's the San Joaquin River. It might be Sacramento, but I know no, we'll just look Sacramento it up, and Let's San Joaquin look. runs. I know Sacramento and San Joaquin River runs into each other, so right. either way, but it is gorgeous. And on the opposite side of the river is a road also. So we can be riding on either side of this river, and it is beautiful. Oh, yeah. We're having a beautiful and California also, day. And they have vineyards out here. And you can yeah. do your wine tasting, and I believe it's a sugar mill. A sugar mill. Yeah, mill. Sugar oh, mill. Oh, yeah, yeah, up there. Further we, down. We go so out that far. If we go that far, we'll show it to you guys. Well, we're just out enjoying this day and want to bring you this video just have some fun with it. We wanted a fun video with a nice question in it. And really don't have much to do with motorcycle, even though we're motor vlogging. But, so we don't want you to go where I would never move to that state because they don't have a good motorcycle road. Even though you may be a hardcore biker. We just that in general, if you had an opportunity to move, where would you move in a heartbeat? For me, I'm sure every state has a motorcycle road. Yeah, you, you might. You know, some people might nice do. Our roads are just. Some roads are just. Our roads are just straight. That's fine with us and too. And flat. It's okay. Like this, this, even though it's a beautiful California Delta, this road is not considered a motorcycle road. But wouldn't you love to ride your motorcycle down here? So have you ever? Ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. In Northern California. And Bay wanna ride, area. And want to ride the beautiful Delta. You know what to do. Look us up. Look us up. We got some nice little small towns on here. Matter of fact, I'm looking at this sign here. We should be coming in Walnut Grove in three miles. We're going to slow down oh, the road Walnut to Walnut Grove. Grove. That's where the ice cream shop at. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hmm. Ice cream for breakfast. Look at that. Man, this is beautiful. Got the sun glistening off the water also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all that camping ground over there. I think they that I think they full residents, but still, I know there's several camp camping spots along the water. Along the water. Oh, I see a motorcycle next to that one by that boat, on the other side of that boat. Hey, come ride with us, people. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at that. Pick it up a little bit. Oh, my bad. Yeah, we got vehicles behind us. We so much enjoying the, the view. This is actually a 50 mile an hour stretch right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know you're catching that on your camera because I don't have a wrist cam on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
They have some nice houses along here too. Okay, now we enter in Walnut Grove. And we're gonna make a right turn on this bridge and go through the town. No, we ain't gonna go through the town, we're just gonna go through the main strip. Right turn. Right the turn. Stop sign. And and by us riding on this delta with all the water, it's a lot of bridges. A lot of draw bridges. Yep. And you know, one time I used to ride this in the car and I always see drawbridge. Yeah. I'm like, why do you always want you to draw a bridge? <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't even have nothing to write with. They want me to draw a bridge. They want me to draw a bridge. Before we stop, we good. Yep. And this is Walnut Grove. When we go up to try to ice cream shop, probably going to see some bikers up there also, because you know you can't ride oh, bikes without stopping for ice cream. Matter of fact, I see yeah. one bike up to my left. See if I get it on a wrist cam. Ooh, oh, man, that's a beautiful one from back here. Like custom painting. Okay, I, said, I see two. That's gonna catch it from back here. And that's right, right across from the ice cream shop too. Oh, that yep. is beautiful. Well, there's three bikes over there. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nice. I ran the stop sign. Man! <laughs> stop sign. Man. <laughs> so busy giving compliments on the bike. He ran the stop sign. Yeah, that, was, that was nice. That was nice. They just happen to be out there in the ice cream shop eating too. Mm-hmm. You want a spa? They got a spa factory right there. There's a lot of little shops along the Delta over here. Yeah. So we're gonna continue on riding this. But like we say, we're gonna answer the questions. If you have in Northern California, you know to look us up. We're gonna close this video off right quick. We didn't want it to be too long. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long. Ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. Peace.